what's going on beautiful people welcome back to my channel as you can see i just finished recording um the chit chat video but today we're on to something new we're on the unequally yoked relationship series and you know how it is i go on about it for the next couple of weeks so that's what i'm going to be talking about we're going to focus more on relationships um most especially relationships that are not godly what you should watch out and hopefully this will help you in your decision making and um, when it comes to picking someone that you want to be with picking someone that you want to get married to because i really believe that one of the biggest mistakes that people always make always always make is when it comes to picking someone to be in a relationship with or when it comes to picking a partner for marriage people always get it wrong because they don't put god first they don't ask the holy spirit to reveal to them who god has in store for them so they end up making so many mistakes and then people come out of those relationships heartbroken and then they hurt other people and then they go on this campaign that you know guys are trash or women are trash or women are gold diggers whatever whatever and everyone's just hurt and people are just seeking for love but instead they decide to have more sex to cover it up so in order for that to stop in order for that cycle to stop I decided that this series would be helpful to a lot of you and hopefully after you finish watching all the um, unequally yoked relationship series you're going to be a little bit more wiser when it comes to choosing someone to be with for the rest of your life so let's get straight into it all right so for this series we're going to focus on samson and delilah if you've not read samson and delilah my advice is to buy a bible if you don't have a bible and you read it from judges chapter 13 to 16 or 17 um samson's story is not that long in the bible so it's only like four or five chapters if you haven't read it please make sure you do read it because i'm not going to read the whole story here but that's what i'm going to use as a guideline for this series that's the person i'm going to focus on in the bible so you can learn from that person at the same time you can learn from this series and learn from my experience that's one of the reasons why i did that chit chat video um so Today we're going to talk about purpose. I know you've heard this too many times. I've talked about this too many times, but if you notice, all the perp all the videos that I've done on purpose on this channel, they're all different. They're not all the same. They're all different. I've done one in the Woman of Substance series. It's completely different to the one I'm about to do today. And it's also different to the, I think I talked about it in the Teen series as well. And I think I talked about it in the Road to Success series as well. They're all different. So don't think that, oh, she's on about purpose again. It's not the same thing. So I'm going to start reading from um, Judges chapter judges um chapter 13 from verse 5 and it says now this is the angel talking to samson's mom and telling samson's samson's mom and um, samson's purpose on the earth okay so for those of you who are mothers out there young mothers old mothers whatever um it's very very possible for you to know what your children are going to be in the future if you actually ask god he will reveal it to you so verse 5 you become pregnant and have a son whose head is never to be touched by a razor because the boy is to be a nazareth dedicated to god from the womb and he will take the lead in delivering israel from the hands of the philistines okay so that is samson's purpose on earth is to deliver israel from the hands of the philistines because the philistines were attacking the israelites quite a lot so god said okay you know what i'm gonna create a man who's going to be strong and powerful so that he can help these israelites come out um from captivity um and stop the philistines from attacking them and i just want to let you know that anyone who's watching this video please understand that you do have a purpose on this earth life is not all about getting married having kids being in a relationship being loved and making money you're on this earth to inspire people to help you the next generation to help the generation you're in now and also to bring people to god in different ways there are different ways you can do that you don't have to go out on the street and minister anymore but yeah that was samson's purpose and his mother knew and his mother also um told samson so samson knew his purpose on this earth and if you do read um the book of judges from that 13 to 17 you will know that samson knew his purpose now one of the mistakes that people make you know what let me define so we're just going to define what it means to be in an unequally yoked relationship so unequally i'm un, sorry unequal equal means the same 
okay equal you remember that that equal sign when you're doing like two plus two equals four equal means these two people are the same right so unequal means the two of you are not the same you're not on the same page you're not on the same mission you're not on the same goal you're not on the same on anything now yoke means yoke means to be joined together yoke means like if you look at the yolk in the egg the yellow bit in the egg yeah it's a circle right it's a circle and even when you try to use a spoon to like you know dissolve it it's still somehow it still managed to stick together all right unless if you're doing like a scrambled egg and you're frying it but apart from that even when you break an egg you see that the yolk is still stuck together in the shape of a circle and even when you try to use a spoon to like um to move it around it's gonna turn the whole egg yellow okay so yolk is to be together joined together just a second sorry for that interruption i really should be putting my phone on silent um right yeah so where are we oh uh, yoked means join together right so unequally yoked relationship means the two people are joined together by their own will but they're not of the same caliber like they're not of the same kind all right so i'm going to repeat that again okay unequally yoked relationship is two people who are joined together by their own will they don't they don't involve god in choosing their partner they just decide that you know what i like you you like me i love you you love me let's get together and they get together even though they are not of the same kind all right so let's get into it right in the beginning samson knew his purpose samson knew what he was supposed to do on this earth the first thing about unequally yoked relationship is that most of the time they don't know their purpose and this is a big 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 problem it's a big problem now when you're in a relationship and you're courting you might not see it as a big problem but when you get married you're gonna realize that not discovering your purpose before getting married is gonna be a big problem now let me explain this to you when you call a taxi to come pick you up right the taxi comes to your house and he calls you out you get into his car nine times out of the ten nine times out of ten the taxi driver is going to ask you where are you going right if you don't say anything to that driver he's not going anywhere or better still he can't go anywhere because there is no direction there's no you know you haven't given him a place for him to go to so what you and him are probably going to do is wonder about for nothing right because you're not going anywhere if you get into a car with a taxi driver you tell him where you're going so that if he can take you there he'll take you there if he can't take you there he'll let you know but what a lot of us do is we see someone we like we see someone we find attractive and we go on the first date with them but we don't ask them about their purpose we don't ask them where do you see yourself in a few years where are you going in a few years what are your plans what are you doing right now that is going to affect your future if i come together with you what do you want me to do in your life what what ways do you want me to help you in your life and this normally happens when a girl meets a guy for the first time and you're meeting up with a guy who doesn't even know who he is okay it's important to know who you are as a person you're meeting up with this guy he doesn't know who he is doesn't know his purpose doesn't know where he's going all he's asking you is the things that you like and talking about places where he can take you to and how he can spend money on you and whatever he's doing at that point is not even going to last for that long because he doesn't even know where he's going and a lot of girls you don't ask them all these questions you just go ahead okay like a woman going into the in, into a into a taxi you go ahead and you just driving and you just driving and you just driving one year later you still have no idea where you're going two years later you now decide to start asking them babe where are we going you know we need to make extra money uh where do we see ourselves in a few years and he's looking at you thinking where are you coming from with all of that because in the very beginning these questions should have been asked you can't get into a car a, a taxi driver can't drive you to somewhere when you haven't given him directions when you haven't given him an address so it's important that when you go on a date with someone you have to ask them these questions where do you see yourself in two years where do you see yourself in 10 years what are you doing right now that is going to affect the future especially ladies you have to ask these questions because in the long run kids are going to come into the picture which is going to inquire a lot more expenses if you're a businesswoman, if you're a woman who's got a career going on you need to see whether your career your business 
is going to it is not going to affect his stuff negatively you need to see whether he can help you in what you do and you can help him in what he can do but when he doesn't even know where he's going you don't even know where you're going the both of you are just going to be stuck and that's why you see a lot of marriages nowadays they're not moving forward they're not going back they're just stuck the same car that they had you know 10 years ago it's the same car that they got now there's nothing wrong with using the same car that you had 10 years ago but if you're not upgrading each year your life should be upgrading if you were you know eating trash food last year this year you should be eating nutritious food if you were eating nutritious food this year next year you should be eating some kind of special food you understand what i'm saying your life needs to be upgraded it needs to be moving forward and it can only move forward when you are with someone even if you're on your own your life can still move forward you can fulfill purpose you know on your own but when you're with someone the two of you should be moving forward together and the only way that can happen is when you know what you're doing he knows what, what he's doing you know where you're going he knows where you're going that way the two of you can know whether um both of us can help each other because let's be real when you're dealing with a man who knows what he's doing he, who knows where he's going as a girl what should be going on in your mind is in what way can i help this man in what he's doing because every man needs help no matter how much he comes out here and say you know i could do it on my own i don't need nobody this and that i made all this money without a woman blah 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 he still needs help he can't produce baby by himself he can't cook for himself some men can cook but most of them don't want to cook uh in 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 his business area if you're if you're a godly woman he needs an extra spiritual eye in the relationship which is going to be you he needs a woman who's going to pray for him he needs a woman who's going to intercede for him he needs a woman who can see things from afar and, and predict any bad thing that's about to happen to him and all these things are in you naturally you need to see whether you can help him with that you know one of the things that i've always said to myself because i know where i'm going and i know what i'm doing i know the kind of man i want to be with i know the kind of career i would like my man to be with because i'm like a businesswoman you know i'm getting into business and everything i know there's some certain careers i don't want to get with you know i can't i can't get with a guy who tells me you know i want to be a lawyer it's not going to work with what i do all right and it's not me being picky and i know some of you be like oh well all that matters is love love needs substance love is not enough have you not seen people who get divorced and they still say you know even though they're divorcing him they still love him have you ever wondered you know if you still love him why are you not with him because love is not enough love needs substance okay so it's important for you to understand your purpose first and if you're on a date with someone you need to ask this question it's very very important and you're going to see how samson's purpose affected him with some woman that he came across in his life as we continue on in the series another thing that happens um in unequally yoked relationship when the two of you don't know who you are when you haven't found your identity yet abuse tends to come in if you listen to my previous video the chit chat video um on how i was a side chick I mentioned that the guy I was with disrespected me um, in the way I talk he would make fun of me and how I look this and that if I knew who I was back then I wouldn't tolerate that if I if I found my identity I wouldn't tolerate that and a lot of people who are in an abusive relationship or an abusive marriage the reason why they're still there is because of lack of identity they don't know who they are they listen if like for example Theresa May yeah she's uh she's the prime minister of the country right if let's say Theresa May was single and she was going out on a date do you realize that if a guy disrespects her it won't take her long before she puts that guy to one side because she knows who she is she knows that listen I'm a prime minister okay there is a certain way you're gonna have to respect me and talk to me you can't just talk to me anyhow you can't just beat me up because if you beat me up even if I don't mention your name I've got cameras that follow me 24 7 she knows who she is so there's some things she can't tolerate there's some things she's not even gonna try and sympathize with because she knows who she is is. and that's the problem with a lot of girls that are in abusive relationship you see girls they're getting beaten up six years in a relationship they're still getting beaten up and you're wondering why are you still there like this man is hitting you next day he's loving you the next day he's abusing you is because you don't know who you are there's lack of identity in that area so when you know who you are and you know where you're going and you see a man that is about to hit you or about to disrespect you you won't tolerate it for example as a girl if you know that you want to be mrs 
um, Mrs. Nigeria or Mrs. America or whatever, whatever modeling thing you're doing. If you're in a relationship where a man slaps you and you sit down and think, wait a minute, in a few years, like I see myself becoming one of the most beautiful women um, on TV, you're gonna get out of that relationship ASAP because you know that if I stay too long with this guy, he's going to change my face and make me look ugly. If he keeps beating me up like this, my face is not gonna look good and I'm not gonna be able to win this thing. So you're gonna get out of it ASAP. And that's why it's very important to know who you are. Study yourself, study yourself, ask God to reveal to you, who am I, who am I? So you will know how to carry yourself. Another thing about unequally yoked relationship is that relationships are good you know being in love feeling love is good but when it's at the wrong time it's not good it's bad all right as an individual it's very important for you to establish what you want to be one of my prayers that i always pray to god is that i want to be able to establish my business before i get married all the people around me their desire is for me to just get married my desire is i need to be making money on what i love to do before i get married because what happens is when you decide to procrastinate that and say oh you know what it doesn't matter let me get married first and i'm gonna do what i love and i'm gonna discover this i'm gonna discover that kids come into the picture a lot of things come into the picture and it's going to be very hard for you to establish the thing that you want to do especially if you know you're getting into the business world it's very important for you to establish that business before you get married i really really respect men who put women aside and just focus on what they want to become and become that thing before they get married honestly these type of men they don't have any problem with getting with a woman that will respect them because they worked hard to achieve what they want to achieve so any woman that gets with them that's in their right senses naturally they respect naturally they submit because they know that you know without me this man has made so much money he's you know established his business he's worked on himself and everything I'm coming into his life as an addition you know so that way when a woman sees that respect submission sorry respect and um, being submissive comes automatically and even as a woman it's important that as an individual you add value to yourself if you want to start a business make sure you start working on it now before a man comes into the picture and if there is a man in the picture make sure that you're still working on it let this man know that listen even though this girl is not where she wants to be right now i know she's working on something so when you do get married and he's telling you you know can you do this can you do that you're like, babe but i've got this thing that i'm working on and you know i need to spend more time doing this then he knows that oh okay and he can't tell you to stop because this is the very thing you were doing before um you got married so it's very important that whatever you want to do especially those who are getting into business because business i'm gonna tell you like me being on this entrepreneur thing as well like it is not easy it is not easy so this is where the unequally yoke relationship start is when the two of you don't know who you are and you don't know your purpose on this earth if you're on a date with anyone and you ask them you know what is your purpose on this earth right so if the person tells you you know i want to build a charity i want to help the orphanage i want to inspire young people i want to teach people this teach people that okay cool i'm not talking about career right now if you're with someone who says oh if you ask them what's your purpose um i'm a teacher okay but what other plans do you have like do you want to inspire people do you want to you know what other ways do you want to affect your generation it's very important to understand this to see whether you're able to deal with that so unequally yoked means we're not on the same page equally yoked means we are on the same page even when it comes to religion as a christian you should know that you should not be in a relationship or married to somebody who is not a christian because the two of you are not on the same page okay so in order for you to be on the same page you need to be asking each other questions if you're on a date and the person tells you i don't know what my purpose is or they tell you you know i'm just gonna flow or whatever like whatever comes we'll just deal with it i'm telling you now my advice is don't go on a second date with that person don't even move forward until they can answer that question and you're satisfied with the answer as we continue on with the series you're gonna realize um how purpose affected samson with the woman that he encountered with
okay because a lot of you when you hear samson the next thing you think of is delilah and you see delilah as a bad woman this and that but as we continue on you're going to realize whose fault it is and you're going to understand better um, why purpose is important so that's it on this video i hope i've kept this video short i'm going to try and keep these series short but until my next video stay blessed and stay beautiful bye